Happy New Year. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Angel Storm. It is so great to be with you in this new year. This year, I actually wanted to do something different on my YouTube channel. I normally give you some tips and tricks on how to stay focused and how to really pick out what goals are aligned with the best version of you for this year. But this year, I actually want to do something different. You know, I I, I acknowledge and I want to acknowledge in this video the people who have set goals, who have tried to reach them, who feel they have been taking steps on their journey of, of obtaining the things that they know they're here to not only receive and achieve, but also to do their purpose. And yet, it can seem like one setback after another, one setback after another constantly. And in this video, I want to actually take you through a guided meditation when you are feeling like, you know, the world is celebrating around you and everybody is excited for the new year, new you, and yet you're feeling like things are so much the same as last year and maybe the year before and you just don't really know how to break through. So sometimes instead of doing more, what we really need to do is be in a place of resting so that we can get a really clear idea and a really clear picture on what we want to achieve. So that way we have a very clear plan moving forward. What I mean by a plan too is that we have a very clear vision uh, you know, without having a very clear understanding of what you want your life to look like, you can find yourself either chasing a million good options or getting let down whenever you come across an obstacle because you don't understand that sometimes and, and actually all the time, obstacles are just opportunities for you to grow or that will ultimately lead you on the next step in your journey. So today what I want to do is take you through a guided meditation really about maintaining your faith in the middle of or after a disappointment so that you can get back to understanding the way to create your reality likely isn't in the next thing that you need to do or crossing something off of your list. It's really getting back to the basics, back to the foundation of who you are and really what you want your life to be like. Recenter yourself on that vision and then move forward with things that are in alignment with that vision. Say no to things that are not in alignment with that vision. And so for the rest of this video, you're not going to see me. You will hear my voice as I take you through this guided meditation. So as we get started, I want you to find a comfortable space. You can close your eyes and take a deep breath. Inhale slowly. Fill the air that is filling up your lungs and exhale, releasing any tension. I want you to let go of the tension in your body let go of the weight that you might feel on your shoulders, in your jaw, around your eyes. Know that you are in a safe place and once again, feel how the air fills your lungs. And exhale, releasing tension. And now I want you to begin with a centering prayer. So you can either say this aloud or you can say this in your head, but express your desire for God's presence and guidance during this meditation. You're inviting him into this moment. And you're also giving yourself permission to surrender your burdens In seeking clarity, what we're really doing is just allowing clarity to come to us. And so right now, I just want you to envision yourself opening a door. 
you're opening a door and as soon as you open the door you are in the middle of the most beautiful garden you've ever seen in your life everything is perfectly manicured there are trees you can hear a creek babbling in the distance there are butterflies and flowers And I just want you to explore. I want you to find a place in this garden and I want you to lay down. Maybe you find a hammock to crawl into. Maybe there's a rocking chair. Maybe there's a meadow that you just lay down in. And as you're laying there, I want you to see yourself being bathed in the presence of God. All around you is soft light. This light is taking heaviness or any darkness within you and around you, and it instead brings comfort and peace. Imagine the this light hitting little molecules of darkness, little molecules of heaviness inside of your body and all around and just turning them into light. Keep breathing in and breathing out. I want you to notice the beauty that's around you, the colors, the scents, the sounds, I want you to go deeper into this divine presence that embraces you and feel the solace and the oneness, the understanding. There's no need to explain yourself here. Everything is just known. And as you're in this garden, allowing this light to take away the heaviness you're not doing anything you're just allowing it i want you to hear now that brook that we were talking about that stream that peaceful stream that we heard babbling in the distance i want you to turn your attention to it and allow it to get louder in your mind hear it now clearly And I want you to actively participate with the light. I want you to release your sadness into the water. Release disappointment into the water. Release the heaviness, the feelings of not being enough or doing enough. Any beliefs that it will not get better, it will not get easier, I want you to let it flow away from you now. And as you do this, I want you to visualize the amount of space that you have just created in your life, in your soul, in your being to receive, to receive God's love, to receive that cleansing and renewing in your spirit. I want you to feel the weight lifting and the clarity that is coming into your body, that is coming into your mind and that is coming into your very being. As you feel yourself being filled up with this peace, with this love, I want you to ask now for, for guidance and wisdom. Ask what your next right step is. Listen in the stillness. Ask knowing that he will answer. Ask knowing that you are not alone on this journey and allow that sense of assurance, that sense of oneness and unity with him to be present as you listen.
And as you listen, you are reminded that you have the ability to surrender your anxieties to God, that his peace will guard your heart and mind. You have the strength to rise above any challenges and to find renewal in your life anytime you choose. You remember that you are a vessel of God's light and his love shines brightly throughout your life. God's mercy covers you. You are set free. In this moment, you have the opportunity to speak life and hope. And you remember that your words have the power of God behind them. You can remember to trust in God's unfailing love, which surrounds you like a shield. God's wisdom will guide your decisions and it will lead you on the path of righteousness. Recount the blessings and the confidence that you have in God's provision for you and for your future. Remember the times when he has delivered you in the past. Actively continue to surrender your worries to God. Trusting that he will turn your sorrow into joy. Actively make space for his wisdom to move, for his voice to be heard, for his lightness to be received by you. Remember that no circumstance can separate you from his love. We walk by faith and not by sight and know that God is with you every step of the way. And as you reflect on the things that God has already done for you, the moments that he has already rescued you, the places he has delivered you from, I want you to start expressing gratitude for these things. Allow a spirit of thankfulness to rise up and recognize that God's constant presence and provision for you is all around. As you do this, I want you to allow the strength and the hope that this gratitude and this remembrance is bringing to you. And in this moment, I just want you to ask God to give you a word. Could be one word, could be just a couple of words, but something that you can hold on to and remember for the rest of this year. And now before you get up and leave this garden, I want you to ask God, what is the next right step for me? Keep in mind the next right step could have nothing to do with the thing that you believe is a problem. Could have nothing to do with how you're going to pay your bills or how to respond to a certain person or where your next job is going to come from. It could be something as simple as, take a nap, make a healthy meal, call your mom. What is the next right step for me? And with the word for the year and the next right step, I want you to bring your awareness back into the garden. Open your eyes and enjoy the scenery once again. Notice again the colors and the sounds and the essence that this garden is bringing to you.
Take several more deep breaths and fill up your lungs and let that air out. Breathe deeply into your belly. When you're ready, get up. Go back to the door and leave the garden and once again enter waking life. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. And I encourage you to write down the word for the year that you just got along with the next right step and anything else that this meditation may have brought you.